Okay, we have this light with a pull chain on it, and we're going to take it down, and we're going to put a nice switch on it so you can turn it on and off with a switch so you don't have to keep playing with the uh, pull chain. So we'll turn it on and off here. We'll find the breaker it's on. It's on that one. So now we can uh, back up to our light fixture here. And as you can see, they did a pretty sloppy job hooking the fixture up here. We'll just clip those off. And so you can see how sloppy that was hooked up. So we have a black and a white coming in, and we have our ground wire here. So we'll open up our knockout over here. We use a push and Romex connector here. It snaps in nice and easy. And we'll just tap it in with our hammer here. It's a nice, easy snap in one. There we go, we got it in. drop wire in to go down to our switch. It's giving me bad lighting, but I'll just be thankful for what I have. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to frustrate. You just be thankful for what you have. It's the best you got. Don't complain about it. Just be thankful. Never complain about things you have. You always be thankful for what you have. Don't complain about it. Be thankful. Okay, so I'll bring our wire over. We'll come into here. We'll get a staple here. Complain. We will not complain. We 
always praise God and give thanks for you. Amen. I want to get back an inch and a quarter. I want it too tight because I don't want to pinch the wire. Give thanks and praise to have my father. No complain. So let's prepare. Put the next jacket out here. down and get a couple of little nuts. Okay, so from here, there's a green screw up here and a ground wire. We're going to get our grounds together here. It is ground into the box. So we'll twist them together. We'll clip it so it's even with the shortest one here. And we'll put a wire nut on them. You do have to put a wire nut on your ground wires or a crimp so you never just them. Okay, we'll get that back into our box. Now we'll take our black feed wire here from the breaker box. We'll go to our white switch wire. strip with a hole that matches your wire size. We'll get our insulation even at the bottom here. Like that there. We'll it back a little on there. We'll bring it up. Now it's nice and even. We'll twist them together. Well, they came out nice and even there, perfectly even. So now we can put our wire nut back on here. So this is the black feed wire going to the white switch wire. So the black wire here will be live coming back to our light. So we'll get this back into our junction box. Make sure it's back out of the way there. Now on our light socket here, we have a silver screw. So we're going to take these wires off.
And we do have a green screw up here, so we do have to uh, ground this fixture. So we'll make our loop the direction our screw turns here like that. Put it around our green screw here. Push it over like that. I'll keep it up going up this way so it stays away from everything. And then we have a silver screw and a brass screw. The black white wire goes on the brass screw and the white goes on the silver screw. It's nicer to have a switch rather than the pull chain because the pull chains break pretty easily. So we'll strip our wires with the hole that matches our wire size we're using. We'll make our loops the direction our screw turns. See if we made our loops big enough. Yeah, I'm gonna make them a little bit. Yeah, I can make them a little bit bigger. So we do have to add to this ground tail here. Okay, so we're gonna put our light on the silver colored screw here. Close our loop the direction our screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. Close our loop to dress the screw turns. I hate how the Phillips screwdrivers hop like a bunny rabbit, but you know what? I just thank God for what I have. I just thank him and praise him. Okay, we got our good connections here. I have to take this. Ground wire nut off here. We're going to add our ground tail up into here. Wrong tool.
Hey, that came out nice and even, so we'll just leave that. Put our wire nut back on our ground wires here. Okay, we'll push that back into our box. We'll push our black D wire to the white switch wire back into our box here. Now we can put our fixture back on our box, but we've got to make sure this ground wire stays up, up away from these terminals here so it doesn't ground out and create a short. So I'm going to put it in like this. We're going to make sure that it stays up here out of the way. And there's our two screw holes right here. I'm just going to look from the other side here and make sure the ground wire is up away from everything. It is. Make sure our screws don't do anything. the plastic fixture so I don't want to break it so I'm going to just reach around here and make sure no wires are pinched anywhere and nothing is pinched so now we're ready to go down and our switch up this is our box and our switch we're going to install down here Now we can put this bulb back up here without all this up here. Okay, now I'm going to bring the, I have to move the camera down here so you can see me doing the light switch. Okay, now we're ready to hook our light switch up. Okay, I'll adjust the camera soon. We gotta get a staple above our box and make sure it's back an inch and a quarter. Okay, now we'll hook our light switch up.
We'll clip off all our debris here, get all our paper out of here. We'll push our wire back up so it's nice and neat. Okay, we have just about a quarter of an inch coming in there. So we'll just finish the staple a little bit more here. There we go. Okay, our bare wire goes on the uh, green screw here, like this. Make sure it's nice and tight like that. Okay, I'll go and look our now it doesn't matter which two, which screw the black or the white goes on, because it's just a single pull switch, so you always make your loop the direction your screw turns. Close our loop the direction our screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight and our insulation doesn't get caught under the screw head. Okay, there we go. We got our insulation just coming up to the bottom of the screw head, and our copper is under the screw head all the way around. Now, I like to mark this white wire live with some black tape. This is just to remark it so people know it's live. Okay, now when we fold these wires in, we're going to keep our ground on the bottom. So we'll go zigzag across the bottom and we'll keep it down here on the bottom so it stays away from everything. And we'll fold our black and white going down and up like that. And we'll push this into our box, keeping our ground wire down at the bottom here so it stays away from everything.
increase the height. I'm gonna make sure our ground wire is down away from everything here. country I was born in, down is off, up is on, and left there behind. So that is how to run a switch loop off of a light fixture here in the country I was born in when the power comes to the light first piece. Thanks for watching.